Parker Schnabel and three friends are honoring his pioneering grandpa by attempting the original Gold Rush Trail. You don't have to charge ahead like that. No. No, hell no. Slow and steady, like think about tomorrow. But they've only just started, and Rick Ness has hit a wall. Get some water in you. This is the easy bit. I'm soaked head to toe. Like, that's not good once you get up in that colder weather, especially if you can't get dry. They're just four miles into a 12-mile hike to Sheep Camp, the last rest stop before the most dangerous part of the mission, a 45-degree climb up the legendary Golden Stairs. Quite honestly, I can't remember being more terrified of something in recent history. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to get through tomorrow. I mean, there's like a four or five-mile hike before we even get to the the golden staircase, and then that's straight up in the air. We're headed for some trouble. And tomorrow's a huge day going up the golden staircase. You know, as we gain elevation, it's going to get colder. Those wet clothes are just going to freeze, and you know that's when people get hypothermia. I'm soaked. We've got to get our clothes dry. Sweating my bag off. Just fingers crossed that. We can dry some of our gear out tonight. Mountain guide Carla has the Yukon in her blood. I came from a super active family, always doing outdoor activities. And my great grandfather came over in the original batch of pioneers. Pretty important for me to walk in his footsteps. After 12 miles of pain, Sheep Camp, a site that's been there since the gold rush, finally comes into view. Hey, looks like there's still a camp here, huh? Holy I've never been so happy to see a tent in my life. Our only hope is if there's still a stove in one of them. Oh, yeah. No there's, way. We got a stove. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a little shack like this. A fire starter. Oh, yeah. Think so? Think we should close here. it? Yeah. Should dry out pretty well, huh, right? Oh, yeah, buddy. So we're sitting at 1,000 feet. And we're climbing up to 3,500. It's the Golden Staircase. The Golden Stairs is the highest section of the trail. And for the stampede years, it was the gateway to the gold. This treacherous mountain pass is the most dangerous part of the journey. If a pioneer gave up, it was the Golden Stairs that broke them. Is that the trail over there? Are we lost? Where do you figure? Is it this? Right through here? No. In the stampede, there was a constant stream of people leading the way. Now, there's nothing. You lost the trail? Yeah. There's no trail right here, that's for sure. Well, there's no trail for the last half mile and for the next half mile. Well, then start cutting left, Parker. You see the tram, right? Line? No, no. Follow the tram line. What tram line? During the gold rush, an aerial tramway was built to haul Pioneer's supplies over the pass. If Parker can find what's left of it, it should lead them to the golden stairs. Carla's just like you. We're getting so close. I see Bennett Lake. We're here. Honeys, we're home. I'm so happy that we made it. Oh. <sighs> Jeez. Look how long that Bennett Lake is 27 miles long and is the first in a series of long lakes they need to survive before hitting the Yukon River. In 1897, 20,000 pioneers got stuck at Bennett in the brutal winter. For a while, it was a town. They even built a railway. But it arrived too late for the gold rushers, and taking a train would be breaking one of Parker's rules, no motors. It wouldn't be too bad being out there right now. Let's hope it stays that way. Let's go talk to Edna. Yeah, let's go find Edna. Who's Edna? 
Edna's a friend of a friend and has a trapping cabin. Our canoes and a cold weather tent are stashed there. I'm pretty sure this is Edna's cabin down here. Oh, yeah, there's our stuff. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. You must be Edna. Yes. Nice to meet you. I'm Parker. Our stuff showed up, I see. More than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy fools. What are you doing doing at this time of the year? <laughs> <laughs> Just made some bannock. You want a piece? <gasps> some what? Please. I'd love a piece. Some what, sorry? Bannock. What bannock? You'll see. Yeah. What's bannock? What's bannock? Oh. God, you're embarrassing the whole group. I, I don't know what it is. You, you know, I'm British. Oh, oh Edna. Man. We have a... anybody that doesn't know bannock. I know, yeah, right? I know. I'm shocked. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is the first piece of bread we've had in so what four or five days. Yeah. Thank wow, you so thank much. you. I'm from I'm from England, you see. Oh, Edna. Okay. That's the reason for that. We thank can you. forgive him, I think. It's blowing from the north right now, isn't it? From the north, it's north breeze now. We don't know whether we can even actually canoe in these conditions. So what we're going to do right now is take the canoes out and just give it a go and just see what we're capable of achieving. I mean, this is the hand that's dealt to us, so we just got to hit the water. All right, let's do it. Hold on two seconds. You good? Yeah. You in? All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'm getting wet, baby. You got cold hands? Oh, I can't <laughs> even feel I can't even feel them. No, I'm, I'm good. Don't worry about it. Let's go with these. What happened to Richard? Uh, his hands were freezing. I offered him my gloves, and he raced off. I think he got pretty frustrated. Well, let's go get him. Rick! You just going to leave us over there sitting on the beach while you I smoke a cigarette over here? I just walked over here. I just walked over here. Should find you guys. We're all over there. Over where? Right where you're Boat is. How the f are I supposed to know? You okay, Dave? Yeah. 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 Well, until Parker comes over and starts giving me a lip, just pulling the f off. Rick really struggles with things like this. We barely got 500 feet paddling our asses off. It's obvious that this is going to be far from the easy part of the journey. Um, it's going to be damn tough, and we have a long ways to go.